So let's start by talking about the path that we're going in trying to become actively anti-racist. The work of anti-racism is hard. It's a path that we haven't been on before. And we're going to make mistakes. But what we have to keep in mind as we make those mistakes is we have to keep in mind what we're trying to accomplish. And so I, like many people, did not think that putting that mural on that wall was a terrific idea. I'd like to see more art rather than art replaced uh, in the community. And I think it's okay to have that conversation. And I think that it's also interesting to me that it also talks about how people take public art to heart. That that existing mural, the work of Doug Dreidiger, is work that people love and appreciate. A lot of people have had personal stories in relation to that work. And it talks about the power of the art. What I don't appreciate is the people who have used this as an excuse to fight the issue of anti-racism. I don't appreciate the people, the racists, who have used this as an excuse to push their own views. What is happening to the people at Pink Flamingo is disgusting and it has no place in this city. It's not right and it's not fair. And I am united with the city council, with my city council colleagues, as well as with the city of Calgary, in absolutely condemning this. I couldn't care less what you think about that mural. You have no right, no right whatsoever on this city to engage in that kind of threatening behavior. And if that's how you feel, find another place to live. With that said, I want to encourage everybody who has been part of this conversation Guys, turn down the heat. It doesn't matter how good your intentions are. But as you criticize the work, as you criticize what's being done here, you give an excuse. You open the door to the most vile kinds of hatred, racism, and violence that Pink Flamingo is experiencing right now. Turn it down. The mural's not going on that wall. It's going to go somewhere bigger and somewhere better. It's going to be an extraordinary part of our community going forward. I commit to that. But for now, turn down the heat. If you want to send messages of love and support in our own battle against anti-racism, that's great. But for the rest of it, let it go. Because no matter how well-intentioned you are, no matter how much you want to explain yourself, so doing opens that window for those haters, and we just don't need that now.